Hi. I found the necklace. Good. Wait, shoot. It's missing a front piece. I need you to find it as fast as you can. It triggers the opening mechanism. This necklace was used by spies in the Civil War. If you open it without the missing piece, it shreds the message inside. I found the locket. Here. I can't open it. I'm going to need your help. This looks like it matches one of the notes I found. That's it. Here you go. What's it say? I can't. I'm gonna go see her myself. Whoa. If Jessalyn confronts Clara, things could get dangerous fast. I need to find a way to light the tunnel first. If I can get this working, it should light up the tunnel. The motor won't work unless I find a way to move that ball bearing down into the shaft.
Jesslyn said something you might want to hear. When you phrase it like that, I know I don't. She said Clara has a habit of discrediting anyone who could find out her secret. She convinced the family Harper was nuts. And she did her best to see Wade punished for something that wasn't fair. Is that what you were going to say? Yes. Hun, I didn't leave Wade because of Wade. I left because I wasn't strong enough to stand up to all that... darkness. If Jessalyn Harper and I can do what needs to be done, you won't be alone in that fight. Nancy, as my daddy said to me, you, dear, are a pain in the rear. Then it sounds like I'm in good company. I found Jessalyn. Well, that's a relief. Not quite. She went into hiding to find evidence that would prove that Clara... Killed Charlotte. How did you know? I didn't, till just now. I met her once. She had the type of smile that never met her eyes. Now I know why. Goodbye. Later, hon. What's up? See you later. Bye. Hi, Nancy. I found Jessalyn. Hello. That's good news. <sighs> Hooray! She's alive! You gotta mention that up front! What happened? Harper snuck up on her the night she disappeared. I knew it! No, wait. It's not what you think. At least, maybe not. Harper has always been convinced that Charlotte's death wasn't accidental. That Clara was behind it. She's been trying to get to Jessalyn for years, but Clara had convinced Jessalyn Harper was crazy, which probably wasn't hard. When Jessalyn finally heard what Harper had to say, I think part of her knew it might be true. If she even considered that it might be true... Yeah, if someone said that about my mom, I'd roll my eyes. Do you think it might be true? I don't know. Jessalyn doesn't seem like she'd be willing to let so many people worry about her unless there was some truth to it. Why not just go to the police? Charlotte's death was ruled accidental. Harper needed Jesslyn's help to gather evidence from Clara or no one would believe her. I still need to find a way to help Jesslyn. Wait, hang on. So does this explain the ghosts? Mostly. Jesslyn and Harper were dressing up as Charlotte. I still don't understand why they do that. It made it easy for them to move through the house without Clara knowing exactly who was there or that Jessalyn wasn't really missing. And I think Harper wanted to use Charlotte's ghost to scare Clara into confessing. <laughs> but that didn't work. This is like... What was that play we saw in school but I didn't finish because I got sick halfway through? Hamlet? That's it! How's that it? Um, pretty much everyone dies. Why show that to a bunch of kids? It's art? Ugh! Art is terrible! I'm done with art. It's just crafts from now on. And while I'm at it, would you take a break from the dark cases for a while? <laughs> Happily. I think I could really use a break. When I get home, we're doing something fun. My thoughts exactly. Everyone else is letting me down. George is gone. Joe's discovered hiking. Which Nancy is just walking. That's what it is. But it doesn't stop him from talking about it. And Frank is... I don't know what Frank's problem is. He's all sullen. And he keeps talking about needing to grow up and maybe get an MBA or something. You gotta come back and restore balance to the world. Also, Ned's going to need a break from me. Mm-hmm. See? The silence speaks volumes. Goodbye. See ya. I think it's time I tell you about that thing I forgot. The night of the fire. I was there. I found Charlotte leaving the crypt. She was really upset. I must have said something to her because she came over to me. I could tell she wanted to say something. But it was like someone took her voice. She gave me this big hug and ran off. And she gave me this. I think she wants me to give this to you. I wish I had known what to do that night. I wish I could have saved her. You were just a kid. Yeah, and I acted like a kid and ran away. 
and I hid. I closed my eyes and wished with all my might that someone would make everything all right again. I never told anyone this, but I think I saw someone else there. The fire wasn't an accident. And now, I'm afraid whoever did it took Jess. Goodbye. Later.